this is the part two of the 1060 question and answer why uh welcome back to my channel so we'll be continuing the part two of the 1060 simple question and answer so we'll be starting from question 275 why are elderly prone to postural hypertension select which does not apply so all these apply except that the barrel reflex mechanism which control heart rate and vascular resistance decline with age that doesn't true so um they are elderly are prone to postural hypertension because of medications and conditions that cause hypovolemia because of leg exercise because of a number of underlying problems with blood pressure control 276 why should LT healthcare professionals take extra care when washing and drying an elderly patient's skin so as the skin of an elder person has reduced blood supply their skin is thinner their skin is less elastic and has less natural oil so this means that the skin is less resistant to sharing forces and wound healing can be delayed 277 why is pyrexia not always evident in the elderly due to immature t cells why is why does constipation occurs in old age this is due to decreased muscle tone and periostasis so you are looking after an emaciated 80 year old man who has been admitted to your ward with acute exacerbation of chronic obstructive airway disease he is currently so short of breath that it is difficult for him to mobilize what are some of the action you take to prevent him developing a pressure ulcer so what you have to do is to assess his risk of developing a pressure ulcer with a risk assessment tool if indicated procure an appropriate pressure relieving mattress for his bed and cushion for his chair reassess the patient's pressure areas at least twice a day and keep them clean and dry review his fluid and nutritional intake and support him to make changes as indicated question 280 you are looking after a 76 year old woman who has had a number of recent falls at home what would you do to try and ensure her safety while she's in the hospital so you have to make sure that the bed area is free of clutter place the patient in a bed near the nurse's station so that you can keep an eye on her Put her on an hourly toileting chart, obtain line and standing blood pressures as postural hypertension may be contributing to her falls. Question 281. You are looking after a 75-year-old woman who had an abdominal hysterectomy two days ago. What would you do to reduce the risk of her, of her developing a deep vein thrombosis? Give, give adequate analgesia so she can mobilize to the chair with assistance. <coughs> give subcutaneous slow molecular weight aspirin as prescribed. Make sure that she's wearing an anti embolic stockings. Fiona is a 70 year old, has recently been diagnosed with a type 2 diabetes. You have EC advise a care plan to meet her nutritional needs. However, you have noted that she's poor. She has a poor fitting denture. Which of the following is a likely risk to the service user? Hyperglycemia. So she's at risk of hyperglycemia. What is the most common cause of hypertension in the elderly? So the most common cause is ateroma changes in vessel walls. Question 284. The nurse cares for an elderly patient with moderate hearing loss. The nurse should teach the patient's family to use which of the following approaches when speaking to the patient. You have to face the patient and speak slowly using a slightly lowered voice. Question 285. Your nurse manager approaches you in a tertiary level old age home where complex cases are admitted and she tells you that today everyone should adopt the task oriented nursing to finish the task by 10 a.m. What's your best action? So you have to ask the nurse manager to reconsider the time bound 
make sure that all staffs are informed about the task oriented nursing care question 286 a patient with dementia is mourning and pulling the dress during night what do you understand from this so probably the patient is incontinent and wants you to change his pad or and stuff like that 287 an elderly client with dementia is scared by a doctor the doctor locks him in a room to keep him safe when she goes out to work and not considering any other option as a nurse what is your best action so you have to explain this is a restraint urgently call for a safeguarding and arrange a multidisciplinary team conference in a community setting an elderly patient reported to you that he gives shopping money to his neighbor but failed to bring groceries on frequent occasion what is your best response on this situation so you have to fill up a raising a concern a safeguarding form and also you have to escalate question 291 a nurse is teaching a patient about crotch walking which is incorrect so the incorrect one is when you have to instruct the patient to weigh his hand on on so that's like slightly incorrect after instructing the clients on crotch working technique the nurse should evaluate the client's understanding by using which of the following method you have to return the demonstration and ensure that the clients understand what you do 294 the nurse assumes responsibility on patients with cane which of the following is the nurse topmost priority in caring for a patient with cane so your topmost priority at this point should be safety 295 to promote stability for a patient using walkers the nurse should instruct the patient to place his hand at the hand graves 297 the nurse should adjust the walker at which level to promote safety and stability so you have to adjust it at the hip the nurse is caring for an immobile client the nurse is promoting interventions to prevent the foot drop from occurring which of the following is least likely to cause a foot drop? Bedding weight that forces the toes into plantar flexion. 299. The nurse should consider performing preparatory exercises on which muscle to prevent flexion or buckling during crotch walking. So that you have to prevent for the forearm extensor muzzle the nurse is measuring the crotch using the patient's height how many inches should the nurse subtract from the patient's height to obtain the approximate measurement so the nurse has to subtract 16 inches to obtain the approximate measurement the most advanced gait used in crotch walking is the four points gates 305 when using crotches what part of the body should absorb the patient's weight the ants must be ready to absorb the patient's weight what patients should not do what should the patient not do when using a zima frame don't carry any other thing with the wall which layer of the skin contains blood and lymph vessels, sweat and sebaceous glands? There's the dermis. 310. What is abduction? Abduction is the movement of body parts away from the body's midline. What is the clinical benefit of active ankle movements? So the clinical benefits include it helps to assist with circulation, it helps to lower the risk of a DVT and it helps to maintain joint range. 
In the context of assessing risks prior to moving and handling, what does TILE stand for? So that stands for task, individual, lift, and environment. In spinal cord injury patients, what is the most common cause of autonomic dysreflexia? That's a sudden rise in blood pressure. So urinary obstruction. 314. A client with a right armed cast for fractured humeral state. I haven't been able to straighten the fingers on the right hand since this morning. What action should the nurse take? The nurse has to assess the neurovascular status of the hand. Question 315. How do the structures of the human body work together to provide support and assist in movements? So the human body helps the skeleton prov provide the structural framework. This is moved by the muscles that contract or extend in order to function, cross at least one joint and are attached to the articulating bones. What does muscle atrophy mean? Muscle atrophy means loss of muscle mass. Approximately how long is the spinal cord in an adult? That is about 45 centimeters. Kappa tunnel syndrome is caused by compression of which nerve? That's the median nerve. Kappa tunnel syndrome is caused by compression of the median nerve. The most commonly injured kappa bone is the what? Is the scaphoid bone. 320. A client at fractured hand and being cared at home requiring an analgesia. The medication was prescribed under a PGD. Which of the following statements are correct relating to this? So PGDs cannot be delegated to anyone. Patient is post of repair of tibia and fibula. Possible signs of compartment syndrome include. So all these are possible signs of compartment syndromes, including numbness and tingling, cold dusky toes, pain, toes and swelling. 322. Patient has tibia fibula fracture. Which one of the following is not a symptom of compartment syndrome? So nausea and vomiting is not one of the symptoms of compartment syndrome. Question 323. A Chinese woman has been admitted with fracture of the wrist. When you are helping her undress, you notice some bruise, bruises on her back and abdomen of different ages. You want to talk to her and what is your action? So you have to arrange for a, an interpreter to ask questions in private. After lumbar puncture, the patient experiences shock. What is the etiology behind it? So probably there is a CSF leakage. After a lumbar puncture and a patient experiences shock, which is not an expected side effect of a lumbar tap, swelling and bruising. So headache, back pain, nausea and vomiting are all expected side effects of a lumbar tap. A patient was recommended to undergo lumbar puncture as the nurse caring for this patient. What should you not expect as its complications, swelling and bruising? A client immediately following lumbar puncture developed deterioration of consciousness, bradycardia, increased systolic blood pressure. What is this? So probably this client has a brainstem herniation. What is the clinical benefit of active ankle movements? So, clinical benefits include helps to assist with circulation, helps to lower the risk of DVT, and also helps to maintain joint range. It is unsafe for a spinal tap to be un undertaken if the patient what as papilloedema, as intracranial mass is suspected, and there, when there's a skin site infection. So it is unsafe for a spinal tap to be undertaken. How do you test the placement of an enteral tube? So what you have to do, you have to do an um, a chest extra or an abdominal x-ray. This will confirm the placement of an enteral tube. During enteral feeding in adults, at what degree angle should the patient be nursed at to reduce the risk of reflux and aspiration? So this patient can be nursed at 45 degrees. What is the 
yield of protected meal time. So the patient gets enough time to eat food without distractions while staff focus on people who need help with eating. 332. What is the best way to prevent who is receiving an enteral feed from aspirating? So you have to try and see them at least 45 degree angle. Approximately how many people in the UK are malnourished? Approximately 3 million people. How can patients who need assistance at meal times be identified? So you can identify them with a red sticker, a color serviette, or a red tray. Any of the above. Which of the following is no longer a recommended method of mouth care? Glycerin and lemon swabs. Which of the following is not a cause of gingival bleeding? Lifestyle. All, all these are causes of gingival bleeding. So, what specifically do you need to monitor to avoid complications and ensure optimal nutritional status in patients being entirely fed? You have to ensure you assess the swallowing, assess swallowing, patient choice, fluid balance, capillary refill time. A patient is recovering from surgery and has been advanced from a clear diet to a full liquid diet. The patient is looking forward to the diet change because he has been bored with the clear liquid diet. The nurse should offer which full liquid item to the patient. Custard. Custard is a good thing. Custard is because it's a liquid diet. According to the to recent UK research, what is the recommended amount of vegetable and fruit to be consumed per day? So five portion per serving is the recommended amount of vegetables. Three fourths tea. The nurse is preparing to change the parenteral nutrition solution bag and tubing. The patient's central venous line is located in the right subclavian vein. The nurse asks the client to take which essential action during the tube changing. So, it has to exhale slowly and evenly. A 27-year-old adult male is admitted for treatment of Crohn's disease. Which information is most significant when the nurse assess his nutritional health? So, anthropometric measurement is important to assess nutritional health. If the prescribed volume is taken, which of the following type of feed will provide all protein, vitamins, minerals, and trace elements to meet the patient's nutritional requirements? So, sip feed is what's recommended. A patient has been admitted for nutritional support and started receiving a hyper or smaller feed yesterday. He presents with diarrhea but no pyrexia. What is likely to be the cause? So the feed is likely to be the cause of the diarrhea. Your patient has a bulky esophageal tumor and is waiting for surgery when he tries to eat. Food gets stuck and gives him heartburn. What is the most likely route that will be chosen to provide him with the nutritional support he needs? Feeding via radio radiologically inserted gastotomy. That is a rigged tube. Radiologically inserted gastotomy. Which of the following medications are safe to be administered via a nasogastric tube? Drugs that can be absorbed via these routes can be crushed and given, diluted or dissolved in 10 to 15 ml of water. An overall risk of malnutrition of 2. One of the government's initiatives in promoting good healthy life is eating the right and balanced food. Which of the following can achieve this? So, five a day fruit and vegetable portion. Mr. Bond's daughter rang and wanted to visit him. She told you of diarrhea and vomiting in the last 24 hours. How will you best respond to her about visiting Mr. Bond? So, you have to visit him when she is symptom free after 48 hours. An overall risk of malnutrition of two or higher signifies high risk of malnutrition. Entera feeding patient checks patency of two placements by. You have to aspirate in gastric juice and check in for the pH. And also you can also um, check the two 
replacement by x-ray. The client reports nausea and constipation, which of the following would be the priority, priority nursing action? You have to complete an abdominal assessment. 352. What specifically do you need to monitor to avoid complications and ensure optimal nutritional status in patients being enterally fed? You have to check the blood glucose level, full blood count, stomach size, and body weight. What is the best way to prevent a patient who is receiving an enteral feed from aspirating? So you have to sit them at least 45 degree angle. Which check do you need to carry out before setting up an enteral feed via a nasogastric tube? You have to ensure that the pH of the gastric aspirate is less than 5.5 and the measurement on the NG is the same length as the time of insertion. Which check do you need to carry out every time before setting up a routine enteral feed via a nasogastric tube? You have to ensure that the pH of the gastric aspirate is also less than 4 and the measurement on the NG tube is the same length as the time of insertion. Your patient has a bulky esophageal tumor and is waiting for surgery. When he tries to eat, food gets stuck and gives him a bone. What is the most likely route that will be chosen to provide him with nutritional support he needs? So, feeding via a radiologically inserted gastrotomy, that's a rig tube, that's the nutritional support he's going to need. Which of the following medications are safe to be administered via a nasogastric tube? So drugs that can be absorbed via this route can be crushed and given diluted or dissolved. What specifically do you need to monitor to avoid complications and ensure optimal nutritional status in patients being enterally fed? So you have to monitor the blood glucose levels, full blood count, the stomach sites, and also their body weights. If a patient requires protective isolation, which of the following should you advise them to drink? You have to advise them to take long life fruit juice and filtered water. A patient has been admitted for nutritional support and started receiving a hyper or smaller feed yesterday. He presents with diarrhea but has no pyrexia. What is likely to be the cause? So definitely it's the feed. Adams, the 46-year-old, is a Jewish descent, has this not how will you plan his dietary needs? So he has to ask the patient about his diet preference. 362, an adult woman asks for the best contraception in view of her holiday travel to a diarrhea-prone area. What, she's currently taking oral contraceptive, what advice will you give her? You have to tell her to use other methods like condom because the real lessens the effect of oral contraceptives. Dehydration is of particular concern in adults. So let's go to 364. The nurse is preparing to change the parenteral nutrition, solution bag and tubing. The patient's central venous line is located in the right subclavian vein. The nurse asks the patient to take which essential action during the tubing change so you have to tell the patient to exhale slowly and evenly obesity is one of the main problem 366 constipation needs to be sought out during assessment what may not be called what may not be the cause of diarrhea so intestinal obstruction might not be the cause a patient is to be subjected for surgery but the patient's BMI is low, where will you refer the patient? So you have to refer the patient to the speech to the dietitian because of the low BMI. How can patient who need assistance at meal times be identified? So a restica, a colloc serviette, a retry. Which of the following is no longer a recommended method of mouth care? Glycerin and lemon swabs. Before a gastric surgery, a nurse identifies that the patient's BMI is too low. Who, she sh who should she contact to improve the patient's health before surgery? You have to contact the dietitian. A patient develops gingivitis after using an artificial denture. It is characterized by red shiny patches around the palate of the tooth. 
If a patient is experiencing dysphagia, which of the following investigation are they likely to have? So a gastroscopy is one of the investigations that can be used for patients experiencing dysphagia. A relative of the patient was experiencing vomiting and diarrhea, which to visit a mother who was admitted as a nurse, what will you advise the patient's relative? So you have to say, tell her there should be a 48 hours after active symptoms should disappear prior to visiting a patient. And not caring for a confused client, not taking fluids. The stars on the previous shift tried to make him drink, but were unsuccessful. Now it is the visitor's time. Why the wife is also waiting outside, what do you do? You have to ask the wife to give him fluid and inquire about his fluid preference and usual drinking time. As a nurse, you are responsible for looking after patients' nutritional needs and to maintain good weight during hospitalization. How would you achieve this? So you have to assess patient nutritional status, the client's preferences and needs, making individual food choices available, and also checking daily weights and documentation. A nurse is not following the client to go to bed without finishing a meal. What is your action as a RN? So you have to challenge the situation immediately as this is related to dignity of the patient and raise your concern. A nurse is preparing to deliver a food tray to a client whose religion is Jewish. The nurse checks the food on the tray and notes that the food on the tray and, and notes that the client has received the roast beef dinner with whole milk as a beverage. Which action will the nurse take? So he has to ask the dietary department to replace the roast beef with pork. What is the use of protected meal time? Patients get enough time to eat food without distractions, while staff focus on people who need help with eating. When doing your drug round at midday, you have noticed one of your patients coughing more frequently while being assisted by a nursing student at meal time. What is your initial action at this situation? So you have to ask the student to stop feeding and assess the patient swallowing. How many cups of fluid do we need to every day to keep us well hydrated? Six to eight cups of fluid. The woman body is made up of approximately what proportion of water? 60% of our body is made up of water. Concentration of electrolytes within the body varies depending on the, the, comp on the compartments within which they are contained. Extracellular fluid has a high concentration of which of the following? Sodium. Dehydration is of particular concern in ill health. If a patient is receiving IV fluid replacement and is having their fluid balance recorded, which of the following statements is true of someone said to be in positive fluid balance? So the fluid inputs will have exceeded the fluid outputs. Mr. James is 72 years old, is a registered blind, admitted on your ward due to dehydration, he is encouraged to drink and eat to recover. How will you best manage this plan of care? Have to ask the patient the assistance he needs. What do you expect to manifest with fluid volume deficits? High blood, high pulse, and low blood pressure. Not caring for a confused client, not taking fluid. The staff on the previous shift tried to make him drink but were unsuccessful. Now it is a visitor's time and the wife is waiting outside. What do you do? I have to ask the wife to give him fluid and inquire about his fluid preferences and usual drinking time. If your patient is having positive fluid balance, how will you find out? Dehydration is balanced, so when this is when the input exceeds the output. What is positive fluid balance? This is a state when the fluid intake is greater than the output, and a negative fluid balance is a state where the output is higher than the input. Perdue categorizes constipation as primary, secondary, or iatrogenic. What could be some of the causes of iatrogenic constipation? Anti-emetic or opioid medication. A patient is admitted to the ward with symptoms of acute diarrhea. What should your initial management be? 
Assessment, source isolation, universal precautions. Concentration of electrolytes within the body vary depending on the compartments within which they are contained. Extracellular fluid has a high concentration of which of the following? Sodium. What is the first sign of dehydration? Does hypotension comes in? What should be included in your initial assessment of your patient's respiratory status? So you have to observe the patient's breathing for ease and comfort, assess the rate and also the pattern. Why is it essential to humidify oxygen used during respiratory therapy? Because oxygen is a dry gas which can cause evaporation of water from the respiratory tract and lead to thickening mucus in the ear with reduction of the movement of cilia and increased susceptibility to respiratory infection. What should be included in a prescription for oxygen therapy? So the type of oxygen delivery system, the inspired oxygen percentage and duration of the therapy. 398, a COPD patient is in a care home. When you visit the patient, he is dyspneic, anxious and frightened. He is already on two liter of oxygen with natural cannula. What will be your action? So after the patient to calm down, 399, a COPD patient is about to be discharged from the hospital. What is the best health teaching to provide this patient? So you have to make sure you tell the patient to quit smoking as much as possible. If a patient is prescribed nebulizers, what is the minimum flow rate in liters per minute required? So two to four is what is required. Which of the following is a potential complication of putting an oropharyngeal airway adjunct? Retching and vomiting is one of the complications. Your patient has bronchitis and has difficulty in clearing his chest. What position would help to maximize the drainage of secretions? So sitting up this patient, leaning on the pillows and inhaling humidified oxygen. Question 403. What do you need to consider when helping a patient with shortness of breath to sit out in a chair? So you have to ensure the patient needs to be able to sit in a forward leaning position supported by pillows. They may also need to access, access to a nebulizer and humidified oxygen. So they must be in a position where this is accessible without being a risk to others. What should be included in your initial assessment of your patient's respiratory status? So you have to observe the patient's breathing for ease and comfort. You have to assess the rate and the pattern. Patient is in for oxygen therapy. A prescription is required including the route, method and how long. 406. You are caring for a 17 year old woman who has been admitted with acute exacerbation of asthma. Her peak flow readings are deteriorating and she's becoming wheezy. What would you do? So you have to undertake a full set of observations to include oxygen saturations and respiratory rate, administer modified oxygen, bronchodilators, corticosteroids, and antimicrobial therapy as prescribed. What do you expect patients with COPD to manifest? So most of them always have increased PCO2 and decreased oxygen saturation. Which of the following indicates signs of severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? Low PO2 and low PCO2. As a nurse, what health teaching will you give to a COPD patient? So that's you have to encourage them to stop smoking. What is the most accurate method of calculating a respiratory rate? So, normally counting the number of respiratory cycles in one minute, one cycle is equal to the complete rise and fall of the chest, patient's chest. Which of the following is not a cause of type 1 respiratory failure? So, prior to sending a patient home on oxygen, the healthcare provider must ensure the patient and family understand the dangers of smoking in an oxygen-rich environment. Why is this necessary? Because oxygen is highly flammable and there is a risk of fire. 
you are caring for a patient with history of COAD who is requiring 70% humidified oxygen via a face mask. You are monitoring his response to therapy by observing his color, degree of respiratory distress and respiratory rate. The patient's oxygen saturation have been between 95% and 98%. In addition, the doctor has been taking arterial blood gases. What is the reason for this? So, arterial blood gases measure both oxygen and carbon dioxide levels and therefore give an indication of both ventilation and oxygenation. A client breathes shallowly and looks upward when listening to the nurse. Which sensory node should the nurse plan to use with this client? So, touch. In normal breathing, what is the main muscle involved in inspiration? The diaphragm is the main muscle involved in inspiration. Joe is a COPD patient to be discharged in the community as a nurse. Which of the following interventions will you encourage him to do to prevent progression of the disease? So you have to ensure cessation of smoking. While assisting a client from bed to chair, the nurse observes that the client looks pale and is beginning to perspire heavily. The nurse would then do which of the following activities as a reassessment. So you have to help the client back to bed immediately. What percentage of air do we breathe in is made up of oxygen, 21%. Which of the following oxygen mask is able to deliver between 60 to 90 percent of oxygen when delivered at a flow rate of 10 to 15 liters per minute? That's the non rebuilding mask. A client diagnosed of cancer visits the outpatient department and after consulting the doctor, breaks down in the corridor and begins to cry. What would the nurse's best action be? So what you have to do is to take her to a room and try to understand her worries and do the needful and assist her with further information if required. 421. Your patient has bronchitis and has difficulty in clearing his chest. What position would help to maximize the drainage of secretions? Lying on his side with the area to be drained uppermost after the patient has had humidified the air. So what is respiration? That's the movement of air into and out of the lungs to continually refresh the gases there. In normal breathing, what is the main muscle involved in inspiration? That's the diaphragm. If a patient is prescribed nebulizers, what is the minimum flow rate in liters per minute required? Two to four. When an oropharyngeal airway is inserted properly, what is the sign? So retching and vomiting might be happening to the patient. A patient under, under you develop shortness of breath while climbing stairs. You inform this to the doctor. This response is interpreted as essential as it is a matter of this patient's health. You are caring for a 17-year-old woman who has been admitted with acute exacerbation of asthma. Her peak floridians are deteriorating and she's becoming wheezy. What would you do? So you have to undertake a full set of observations to include oxygen saturations and respiratory rates, administer humidified oxygen, bronchodilators, corticosteroid and antimicrobial therapy as prescribed. Why is it essential to humidify oxygen used during respiratory therapy? Because oxygen is a dry gas which can cause evaporation of water from the respiratory tract and lead to thickened mucus in the airways, reduction of the movement of cilia and increased susceptibility to respiratory infection. What should be included in your initial assessment of your patient's respiratory status? So you have to observe the patient's breathing for ease and comfort, rate and pattern. A patient is in for oxygen therapy. A prescription is required, including the roads, including the method, and how long it should be. What is the position to make breathing effective? Eye side line. What is the reason for dyspnea in patients who is diagnosed with glomerulonephritis? So, albumin loss increase on cortic pressure causes water retention in the cells. When an or or 
when an oropharyngeal airway is inserted properly, what is the sign? Retching and vomiting. Fourth question 434. Lisa is a working mother of three, has approached you during a recent attendance of a daughter in accident and emergency because of an acute asthma attack about smoking cessation. What is your most appropriate response to her? So, um, referral can be made to the local NHS you have to, and also stop smoking services. When do you gain consent from a patient and consider it valid? So, none of this. A patient is assessed to lack capacity to give consent if they are unable to none all of the so if they are unable to understand the information about the decision and remember that information if they are unable to use that information to make a decision and if they are unable to communicate to decision by talking using sign language or by any other means the following must be considered in procuring a consent except withholding people's rights to be fully involved in decision about their care a patient has been assessed as lacking capacity to make their own decisions. What government legislation or act should be referred to? So that is the Mental Capacity Act. This should be referred. A patient puts his arm so that you can take his blood pressure. What type of consent is this? So this is an implied consent. What does assessing for no refusal mean? that the person has not already refused treatment recommended what is the recommended pre-operative fasting times this is 6 to 12 hours why is it important that patients are effectively fasted prior to surgery this is to help to reduce the risk of reflux and inhalation of gastric content why is it important that patients are effectively fasted prior to surgery in order to, to reduce the risk of reflux and inhalation of gastric content? What are the principles of gaining informed consent prior to a planned surgery? So gaining permission from a patient who is competent to give it by providing information in understandable terms prior to surgery, allowing time for answer questions and inviting voluntary participation. What do you do have to consider if you're obtaining a consent from the patient? So you have to consider his capacity. Safe moving and handling of an anesthetized patient is imperative to reduce harm to both the patient and staff. What is the minimum number of staff required to provide safe manual handling of a patient in theater? So four individuals are required, one on each side, one at the head and one at the feet. How soon after surgery is the patient expected to pass urine? So six to eight hours, a patient is expected to pass urine. As a registered nurse in a unit, what would you consider as a priority to a patient immediately postoperatively? So you have to ensure your yeah, patency is in, in, that's the first thing you have to consider. A patient just had, has just undergone lumbar laminectomy. What is the best nursing intervention? So you have to move the body as a unit when you want to reposition the patient. A patient is in your care is about to go for a liver biopsy. What are the most likely potential complications related to this procedure? So in advance puncture of the pleura, a blood vessel or a bowel duct. So puncturing of the pleura can be one of the complications. Which of the following is a severe complication during a 24 hours post liver biopsy? Nausea and vomiting. A patient is post-op liver biopsy, which is a sign of serious complication. So bleeding is one of the signs of complication and nausea and vomiting. A nurse assists the physician in performing liver biopsy. After the biopsy, the nurse places the patient in which position? So you have to place this patient in a right side line. 
What position should you prepare the patient in a pre-op for abdominal paracentesis? So you have to position this patient supine with the head of the bed elevated to 40 to 50 centimeters. Lumbar post-op patient moving and handling, you have to move this patient as a unit. A patient is post-op repair of tibia and fibula. What are the possible signs of compactment syndrome? So numbness, cold dosquitos, pain, toe swelling, all these are signs of compartment syndrome. Which of the following method of wound closure is most suitable for a good cosmetic result following surgery? Skin clips. So skin clips is one of the most suitable, is a good cosmetic result following surgery. You are looking after a post-op patient and when carrying out their observation, you discover that they are tachycardic and anxious with an increased respiratory rate. What could be happening? So the patient is showing symptoms of hypovolemic shock. You have to investigate the source of fluid loss, administer fluid replacement and get a medical support immediately. Who should mark the skin with an indelible pen ahead of surgery? So the surgeon should be able to come over and mark the patient's skin ahead of surgery. What serious condition is a possibility for patient position in a Lloyd Davis position during surgery? Compartment syndrome is one of the um, serious conditions that can occur. In which of the following situations might nitrous oxide be considered? So during a wound dressing or the wound dressing change for short time pain relief or the removal of a chest drain for reduction of anxiety. 462. An adult has been medicated for a surgery. The operating room nurse, when going through the client's chart, realizes that the consent form has not been signed. Which of the following is the best action for the nurse to take? You have to tell the physician that the consent form has not been signed yet. A patient has just returned from theater following surgery on their left arm. They have a PCA infusion connected and from the admission, you remember that they have poor dexterity with their right hand. They are currently pain free. What actions would you take? So you have to contact the pain team or the anesthetist to discuss the situation and suggest that the means of delivery are changed. The night after an X lab, a patient who has a nasogastric tube attached to lose function reports nausea. A nurse should take which of the following actions? You have to ensure the potency of the NG tube or you can also aspirate the NG tube. An adult is offered the opportunity to participate in a research on a new therapy. The researcher asks the nurse to obtain the patient's consent what is most appropriate for the nurse to take so you have to refuse to be the one to obtain the patient's consent the doctor has to take the patient's consent now the medical team encourages early ambulation in the post-op period which complication is least prevented by this wound infection a patient doesn't sign the consent for mastectomy but bystanders strongly feel that she needs surgery so you have to respect the patient's decision because she has the right to accept or deny. 468. You are the nurse assigned in recovery room or post-anesthetic care unit. The main priority of care in such area is keeping the airway intact at all times. Accurate post-op observations are key to ass ass assessing a patient's deterioration or recovery. The modified early warning score is a scoring system that supports that aim. What is the primary purpose of the meals? So this identifies patients at risk of deterioration. If a client is experiencing hypotension post-op, the head is not tilted in which of the following surgeries. So during abdominal surgery, you don't need to tilt the head. Goggling sound from the ear where in a post-operative client indicates what? It indicates partial obstruction of the upper airway. What is the preferred position for abdominal paracentesis? 
supine with head slightly elevated. The famous actress has had plastic surgery. The media consults the nurse on the unit and asks for information about the surgery. The nurse knows that, so the nurse is obligated to respect the patient's privacy and confidentiality. What is the right in case of consent among children under 18 years? So children who are intellectually developed and understand matters can give consent. Early ambulation prevents all complications except surgical site infection. A patient with learning disability is accompanied by a voluntary independent mental capacity advocate. What is his role? So the role is as an expert and representatives, client concerns, wishes and views as they cannot express by themselves. Barbara is a 75 year old patient from a nursing home and was admitted on your ward because of fractured neck of the femur after a trip. She will require an open reduction and internal fixation procedure to correct the injury. Which of the following statements will help her understand the procedure? So, a ORIF procedure will be done under general anesthesia by an orthopedic surgeon. 478. Barbara was screaming in pain later in the day despite the PCA in situ. You refer back to your nurse in charge for a stronger painkiller and she refused to call the doctor because of her pain relief was reassessed earlier. What will you do next? So you have to continue to refer back her until she calls the doctor. Covert communication may include the following except the tone of voice. Which of the following statements by a nurse would indicate an understanding of intrapersonal communication? So, Interpersonal communication occurs within a person. Which therapeutic communication technique is being used in this nurse client's interaction? Making of observation. Which nursing statement is a good example of the therapeutic communication technique of giving recognition? I notice you are wearing a new dress and you have washed your hair. 483. The nursing staff communicate that the new manager has a focus on the bottom line, the little concern for the quality of care. What is likely true of this nurse manager? So the manager is unwilling to listen to staff concern unless you have an impact on costs. Which nursing statement is good example of the therapeutic communication technique of focusing? So you mentioned your relationship with, with your father and uh, let's discuss that further. 486. Which therapeutic communication technique should the nurse use when communicating with a client who is experiencing auditory hallucination? You have to uh, just, I understand that the voices seem real to you, but I do not hear any voices. Which therapeutic statement is a good example of the therapeutic communication technique of offering self? Would you like me to accompany you to your electroconvulsive therapy treatment? 488. Which nursing response is an example of the non-therapeutic communication block of requesting for explanation? Can you tell me why you said that? Which behaviors will encourage a patient to talk about their concerns? So you have to tell the patient you are interested in what is concerning them and that you are available to listen. Which of the following statement by a nurse would indicate an understanding of intrapersonal communications? Intrapersonal communication occurs within a person. Which nursing response is an example? Which of the following are barriers to effective communication? Cultural differences, unfamiliar accent, overly technical language and terminology, hearing problems, so all of the above. A nurse has been told that the client's communications are tangential. The nurse would expect that the client's verbal responses to question would be 
loosely related to the questions. Which of the following is not an example of non-verbal communication? Tone. Which behaviors will encourage a patient to talk about their concerns? So you have to tell the patient you are interested in what is concerning them and that you are available to listen. What laws should be taken into consideration when a patient has hearing difficulties and would need hearing aids? Communication law. In non-verbal communication, what does SOLA stand for? Squarely, open posture, leaning slightly forward, eye contact, and relaxed. The CQC describes compassion as what? Intelligent kindness. A patient who doesn't know English comes to the hospital. What is your role? You have to use a professional interpreter. Which behaviors will encourage a patient to talk about their concerns? So tell the patient you are interested in what is concerning them and that you are available to listen. What is the difference between denier and collusion? Denier is coping is a coping mechanism used by an individual with the intention of protecting themselves from painful or distressing information. Whereas, which nursing response is an example of the non-therapeutic communication block of requesting an explanation? So, can you tell me why you said that? Question 494. Patient has just been told by the physician that she has stage 3 uterine cancer. The patient says to the nurse, I don't know what to do. How do I tell my husband? And begins to cry. Which of the following responses by the nurse is the most therapeutic? It seems to be that this is a lot to undo. I will stay here with you. Question 495. Which therapeutic communication technique should the nurse use when communicating with a client who is experiencing auditory hallucinations? So you have to say, I understand that the voices seem real to you, but I do not hear any voices. When communicating with someone who isn't a native English speaker, which of the following is not advisable? So relying on your family or, or friends to help you explain what you mean is not advisable. Which nursing statement is a good example of the therapeutic communication technique of offering self? Would you like me to accompany you to your electroconvulsive therapy treatment? 498. Mr. Khan is visiting his son in London when he was admitted in accident and emergency due to abdominal pain. Mr. Khan is from Pakistan and does not speak the English language. As his nurse, what is your best action? So, your best action as a nurse, you have to ask for an official interpreter. When communicating with someone who isn't a native English speaker, which of the following is advisable? Using an official translator. 500. When communicating with a client who speaks a different language, which best practice should the nurse impl implement? Arrange for an interpreter to translate. 501. What factors are essential in demonstrating supportive communication to patients? So, listening, clarifying the concern and feelings of the patient using open questions. Which nursing statement is a good example of the therapeutic communication technique of giving recognition? I notice you are wearing a new dress and you have washed your hair. When a patient arrives to the hospital who speaks a different language, who is responsible for arranging an interpreter? The registered nurse. So, let's go to 506. Which, when...